Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, I bring you the all new 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland 4x4. And this is gonna be a full in-depth tour of the Grand Cherokee. We'll start it up, show the engine, go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Stateline Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Fort Mill, South Carolina. So, without further ado, Let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. It does have remote start. Just make sure it's locked and push the button twice. Simple as that. The vehicle does have the smart key access system. All you have to do is keep the key fob in your pocket. As you see, the doors are locked at the moment to unlock them. Just grab the handle and pull. Lock them back. On the driver and passenger door, you see these little chrome buttons. Just hit them. And wait a second. Simple as that. The exterior is known as brilliant black crystal pearl coat with two-tone new saddle leather and black interior. Keyless ignition. Just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. Very nice. It's a leather wrapped steering wheel with the wood accent on top. It's quite a thick steering wheel, too kind of thins out below and then the wood thickens up towards the top. Very nice to grab onto. It's got a five-speed automatic transmission, manual shift, and let's go ahead and cut on the headlights, fog lights, as well as the hazards. Both the front windows are fully automatic. And let's check out the exterior, shall we? High intensity discharge headlamps. Twenty inch aluminum premium painted wheels with nitrogen filled tires. Go ahead and pop the fuel cap. Does have rear parking assist, chrome dual exhaust, your rear backup camera, button for your proximity key. Chrome accented roof rack, full panoramic sunroof, scooped out hood in the middle, chrome accented LED turn signal mirrors. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. This Overling comes with the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 with 360 horsepower at 5150 RPM and 390 foot-pounds of torque at 4250 RPM. The all-new 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 is also an option. Rich wood accents, the stitched saddle door paneling, 
power locks, windows and mirrors. Heated exterior mirrors, two-person memory for the driver's seat. Full power tilting telescoping steering wheel. It's a full power driver's seat, four-way power lumbar adjustment. Your perforated leather seats as stated before with black color accent band, the Overland logo stitched on the back of the seat, and it is perforated. A lot of the vehicle's panels are stitched leather, such as the top parts of the door, wrapping around the dash, and to the middle of the dash, where you have this saddle accent stitching. Basically, the entire dash is covered in stitched leather all the way through here. Here's your panoramic sunroof. And let's go and see how she sounds. You have a rev limiter between 3,500 and 4,000 RPM. Very muscular engine. You have dual zone automatic climate control. Simple to use. Different zones, heated and ventilated seats for the driver and passenger, defrost controls, traction control, tow haul mode, heated steering wheel, power to your power outlet right back here, as well as your parking assist. This has a nine speaker, 506 watt Alpine sound system. It's a hard drive based navigation system. You can upload and store music, photos, all on this system and play them back like an integrated iPod. MP3, WMA, JPEG compatible. CD players located behind the union. Uconnect hands free telephone. B auxiliary input. Automatic controls for the roof. This controls your shade. Open up the back half. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Chrome lace around the heads up. Power for your trunk release. LED interior lighting. Garage home link. It's a very well presented interior. Chrome laced just about every surface. Power outlet. Illuminated cup holder. Your four wheel drive and off road controls. Downhill assist. Different selections based on the terrain you're on. This controls your vehicle's ride height. Does have a rear backup camera. Just put in reverse. You have guidance lines. Stitch center console. Eight seconds. Show 
USB input here as well. And you do you have your hands-free phone controls in the steering wheel, radio controls located on the back, cruise control, and your heads-up display. So let's go ahead and shut it down. We'll check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Roomy rear seat. Very high quality leather. Back seat folds completely flat. Headrests automatically fold down to increase the rear cargo space. Seats are nice and supportive. The rear seats are heated as well. Your rear power outlet is controlled from the front. Beautifully laid out interior. The rear is a combination of carpet and chrome, chrome runners, subwoofer grille, brush aluminum plates here, rear power outlets, cargo cover, spare tire, Very nice. Beautiful leather, and it is all perforated back here as well. Full power passenger seat as well with the four-way lumbar adjustment. Beautiful SUV. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour of the 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.